James Vicky Houston. I'm a designer with Crafty Print. <laughs> and on my left, we have Zach. Hi. And on my right, we have Zoe with another episode of Cup TV for Kids. Hi. Today, we're going to make an extender card. The reason I've called them extender cards is because they extend into a tower. They extend. And what sort of card is it, Zach? Halloween one. Yes, and that's what we're going to do today. So, first thing to do is download the kit. And in the kit you'll get, you want to hand them to me? A bottom part of the card, a middle part of the card, oops, and a top part of the card. And there may also be a sentiment sheet in with the kit that you get. And some of the things we're going to need are, give me the ribbon, some ribbon, Zachy's on slow go, the bottom card of the card which you'll cut out, you'll score along the middle line and you'll see a blue line which you will cut across. You'll do the same with the middle piece, cut it out, fold and slit across the middle of the card and the top piece which again score across the middle and in the centre you'll only do a tiny little hole. Now I haven't made a score line for this because we're going to be using a piece of ribbon this size but it will depend on the size of the ribbon that you use and I'm going to do this so we don't take too long. I like to put a little piece of sticky tape across there before I score the, and cut the hole for the simple reason that it reinforces it and then you can slip your ribbon through which becomes your hanger. So Zoe's going to explain about the rest of it and we'll get on with making the cut. So first you grab a piece of sticky tape. Me and my nanny. Nanny like to pull one bit up and then sticky tape the bottom of the ribbon. Let me grab another one. I sticky tape them in. You can glue them in however you want. You can use any sort of ribbon you want. And then we do the top one. And you can even use those hangers out of the top of, that hang on the shelves, out of, you know, socks and jocks packs, that little hooky things that hang on the shelves. Okay. What have, we've done these earlier to prepare and I've used double sided tape. You can use glue if you want. So I'll help you take these off Sally. It's a bit hard. Yes, let Nanny do them then. Make sure Oops, oh dear. <coughs> what happened then? You'll be right on TV, everything goes wrong. Take your bits off. As I said, you can use glue. The top one doesn't really matter because you haven't got anything to be careful of. Oh. Okay. Then you stick it together. Put it down and fold it over. Run your fingers around. Press it all down. Press it along. Okay, next one. We've got to be quick. We got the middle. The that. Sorry. Explain what we're doing. We're putting the top piece okay. through the middle piece. Yes. And then pull it right up. Now hang on. No. You were supposed to explain that. Then what we have done is used the pencil and a ruler and got the ruler, put it against where the tips are. The end the of tabs. the tab. We're running out of time here, so just okay. let me explain this a little quicker. When you put this through, 
you need to mark the ends of your tab all the way down to make sure that the glue does not come into this section otherwise your um, top piece will not slide so to speed things up we put a little bit of um, we've used double sided tape because it gives you more control over you can actually see where it goes rather than use a, a glue pen or um, one of those runners. Okay. Fold it over. So you fold it over, run our pieces around where you have put them. Okay. And we grab our top one. We thread all That's our bottom one. Our bottom one. And we thread them all through the bottom one. And again. And again we do the same thing. Same thing with the tabs. Mark a line at the end of the tabs to make sure you don't get any glue on the um, inside where the tags are. You have to grow your fingernails off. <laughs> okay. Then we fold it over. there's your card. See it slides in. Top piece slides in. There's glitter on this and it's sticking a little bit. Okay and then you can um, Fold it back try, in. try and make sure it's straight when you're pulling it out because um, otherwise it gets yes. lopsided and you get one side stuck. But there it is. Now if you want any Decoupage on it. You gonna hand me these? What are you handing me? A spider. Spider? It's the only time you'll see me with a spider in my hands. Okay, what else have we got? Scale. Yep. And another scale. Yep. And bones. And some more bones. Now if you're going to do decoupage on your card, only do it on the bottom part of it. Um while Zoe's doing those, you'll see some here behind us. I've got a couple of Christmas ones. I've got a hanging pot plant and another Halloween one that we did a bit earlier for practice. But you'll see I've got um, decoupage elements on that. So if you would like to do these cards or any other of my cards, go to my page www.craftsheprint.com forward slash Vicky hyphen absent forward slash on the end of that you'll see it written on your screen and there'll be these and some more on the site soon so thank you for your help Zach thank, thank you. you Zoe thank you and I hope you've enjoyed this version of Cup TV for Kids and we'll see you all next time Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.